Once considered a titan in the aerospace industry, Boeing has taken a massive hit to its reputation as the company's Starliner spacecraft continues to face embarrassing delays, while its competitors at SpaceX continue to thrive in a new era of the space race. In fact, SpaceX's Dragon capsule has just achieved an amazing feat that has raised questions about the purpose of the Starliner and if it is worth the millions of taxpayer dollars spent on its development. Let's talk about the various issues that have plagued Starliner and the steps Boeing has taken to try and salvage the program. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft stands as a marvel in the realm of NASA's ambitious quest to ferry astronauts into the vast expanse of space. This extraordinary vehicle, however, has encountered a labyrinth of obstacles and endured substantial delays during its arduous path of development. Regrettably, Boeing has struggled to achieve the resounding success expected from the Starliner, causing it to linger in the shadow of its rival. In stark contrast, the International Space Station, ISS, presently relies on SpaceX's Crew Dragon for its orbital missions. This spacecraft earned its wings in 2020 when it obtained flight certification swiftly establishing itself as a formidable contender. Both SpaceX and Boeing have been the fortunate recipients of considerable financial support from NASA's Commercial Crew Program, CCP, an initiative launched back in 2014. Tasked with creating cutting-edge spacecraft capable of safely transporting astronauts to the ISS, these two esteemed companies were bestowed with the weighty responsibility. Initially, NASA had envisioned the deployment of these spacecraft as early as 2017. However, Due to financial constraints and unforeseen challenges that cropped up during the developmental phase, the timeline was extended by several years. When it comes to design, the Starliner exudes echoes of the spacecraft that once graced NASA's historic Apollo program. Yet, this innovative commercial spacecraft dazzles with a trove of electronics that have propelled it forward by leaps and bounds, surpassing the accomplishments of the Apollo era by a good 50 years. Its iconic shape, reminiscent of a delectable gumdrop, stretches an impressive 14.8 feet at its widest point. For its inaugural ventures into the great beyond, the Starliner will be launched skyward aboard the mighty Atlas V rockets, a steadfast and proven choice for celestial journeys. At its core, the Starliner's primary mission is to ferry up to seven intrepid astronauts, safeguarding their passage to and from the ISS. Nevertheless, this versatile spacecraft offers the flexibility to adapt and accommodate additional cargo when fewer astronauts embark on a particular mission. The creation and construction of the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft were made possible primarily through Boeing's partnership with NASA's CCP, a symbiotic collaboration that has witnessed both Boeing and SpaceX receiving substantial grants from NASA's Commercial Crew Development Program. In 2014, NASA handpicked Boeing and SpaceX as their esteemed partners to shoulder the momentous responsibility of launching astronauts to the stars, a decision made in the wake of NASA bidding farewell to its illustrious space shuttle program in 2011, a program that had faithfully served the agency for an awe-inspiring three decades. In the interim, NASA found itself compelled to rely on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft to transport its astronauts to the ISS incurring astronomical expenses of millions of dollars per seat until its chosen partners were prepared to take up the mantle. As of May 2020, NASA, through the CCP, had granted SpaceX an allocation of approximately $3.1 billion for the development of its remarkable Crew Dragon spacecraft, while Boeing secured a substantial sum of around $4.8 billion to enhance the capabilities of the Starliner. With the vision of maintaining operations on the ISS until 2030, provided all partners concur, NASA has entrusted SpaceX with 14 crewed missions as of June 1, 2022, while Boeing has been granted six missions to fulfill the crucial task of transportation. In a surprising turn of events, recent reports indicate that Boeing has decided to take a step back from the much-anticipated launch of its Starliner astronaut capsule for NASA. This unexpected decision stems from safety concerns related to the spacecraft's parachutes and wiring, which were only discovered recently. The duration of this delay remains uncertain, as Boeing strives to address these critical issues. The launch of the Starliner, already subject to multiple postponements over the years, was initially planned to send two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station on July 21st. Unfortunately, the chances of it happening this summer seem slim, and there is even a possibility that it might not occur at all this year. During a press conference on June 1st, Mark Nappy, the program manager and vice president of Boeing Starliner, expressed uncertainty about setting new dates, 
emphasizing the need to thoroughly understand and resolve the problems in the days ahead. The latest setback revolves around two significant safety concerns that emerged during meticulous evaluations of the Starliner in preparation for crewed missions, as explained by Nappy. The first issue relates to the soft links used on the suspension lines of the spacecraft's main parachutes. These links, responsible for securing the parachute lines to the capsule, were found to have a lower load limit than previously believed. In the event of a chute failure, these links cannot withstand the strain, posing a risk to safe landings. NASA mandates the ability to land safely with at least two fully functional parachutes. The second challenge pertains to the tape employed for safeguarding the wiring harnesses inside the Starliner capsule. Surprisingly, this tape is flammable, and its extensive presence throughout the spacecraft poses a potential fire hazard. Removing the tape is not a feasible solution, as it could lead to further damage. Therefore, Boeing is actively exploring alternative approaches, such as incorporating additional protective measures in the most vulnerable areas to mitigate the risk of fire. This delay represents yet another setback in the Starliner's troubled journey. In December 2019, its initial uncrewed test flight fell short of reaching the intended orbit and failed to dock with the International Space Station, necessitating an early return to Earth. Following a thorough investigation by NASA, Boeing was instructed to implement 80 corrective actions to address safety and other concerns. A subsequent uncrewed test flight took place in May 2022 after experiencing delays caused by valve issues. Despite the presence of tape and parachute-related challenges during that flight, NASA deemed it a success. Steve Stitch, the manager of NASA's commercial crew program, acknowledged the team's collective disappointment caused by this further delay. Nevertheless, he expressed optimism and emphasized the unwavering determination of both Boeing and NASA engineers to address the identified issues and move forward with the Starliner's mission. Meanwhile, NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have eagerly prepared for the Starliner's inaugural crewed flight, known as the Crew Flight Test. Originally scheduled for February, this critical test has faced continuous postponements. In 2021, Two other NASA astronauts initially assigned to fly on the Starliner were reassigned to SpaceX's Dragon capsule to fulfill their missions, which they have successfully accomplished. During a recent meeting of NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, experts voiced concerns regarding the Starliner's readiness, particularly with respect to parachute certification. A report highlighted that the system employed during the uncrewed test flight lacked certification for crewed missions. On the other hand, SpaceX is achieving great success with its Crew Dragon capsule. It's powered by the powerful SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Recently, the Dragon spacecraft made a remarkable journey to the International Space Station, ISS, carrying four private astronauts, Commander Peggy Whitson, Pilot John Schaffner, and Mission Specialists Ali Alkarni and Rayana Barnawi. This was the second time a group of private astronauts went to the ISS. The mission, called Axiom Mission 2, Axe 2, lasted for 10 days and included exciting activities like scientific research, education, and business projects on the ISS. The Dragon smoothly launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on May 21st and skillfully docked with the ISS, impressing Commander Whitson with its flawless procedure. After spending some thrilling days on the ISS, the Dragon returned to Earth with the astronauts. It made a spectacular splashdown off the coast of Florida on May 30th, bringing the successful Axe 2 private astronaut mission to an end. This impressive achievement by SpaceX raises questions about Boeing's Starliner spacecraft and its purpose. Boeing has a contract with NASA to complete at least seven crewed flights, including the important crew flight test and six other missions. Despite facing delays, Boeing remains committed to the Starliner and fulfilling its obligations to NASA. Only time will tell if they can overcome the challenges ahead and achieve their goals. What do you think? Is the Starliner just a waste of taxpayer dollars? Or can Boeing turn it around and find a useful application for the craft? Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button to stay updated with new developments about the Starliner and how Boeing plans to address these issues.